Inside this downtown South Bend firm, Ed Kowalczyk spends most of his days working on massive projects. I'm an architect here. We design buildings. We helped work on the Chicago, uh, South Bend Cubs Stadium next door. Ed and the team here are used to challenges, and a recent one just outside their doors has been eye-opening with no easy solution. It's very frustrating because there's a lot of hardworking people at this company and many other businesses downtown. Workers inside could not hear what was happening to one of their trucks in their lot around 5 in the morning. But the crime was caught on camera, and boy, was it quick. He parked right next to our van and acted like he worked here, owned the place, so anyone driving by wouldn't suspect a thing. Watch it play out. The man gets on the ground and gets right to work. Now, Ed believes he used a reciprocating saw or sawzall to separate some metals under the van. In minutes, that man is in and out, taking a catalytic converter that has a street value worth hundreds of dollars, maybe even more. They must have timed it just right where no one working here walked by when this was going on. Very easy to do, uh, very quick to do, and it's hard to catch. South Bend Police Captain Jason Biggs knows this is a growing crime. Since 2020, there have been more than 660 converter thefts in the city alone. From 2020 to 2021, reports of the thefts more than doubled, up 72% in just one year. I learned there's a reason why that happened. So it has a couple of things inside of it that help filter the exhaust gas coming out better for the environment, and that's what makes them valuable. Zolman Tire sees this problem a lot, sometimes several a week. As mineral prices jumped, so did the number of thefts. They were getting between three to $600 at the scrapyard per converter. There are several precious metals found in the converters. Researchers at Carfax told us platinum in recent years traded for as much as $970 per ounce. Palladium, more than $1,300 an ounce. Rhodium, $10,000 per ounce. And I found out your car could have more of those valuable minerals compared to other models, making you an even bigger target for thieves. The loud rumbling noise you hear is coming from a normally quiet Prius. This is a telltale sign that its converter was stolen. For thieves, it's more like a sound investment. That hybrid engine doesn't get as hot as a conventional engine. So there needs to be more of the special metals, the rhodium, uh, platinum, palladium, inside a hybrid uh, catalytic converter, and that turns into more money once that's stolen. Patrick Olson with Carfax told me converters in most hybrids like the Prius earn thieves four times as much compared to a gas-powered car or truck. It's also why it's one of the most targeted vehicles in the Midwest. It ranked fourth on Carfax's list of top cars for thieves. And here's the rest of the top 10 featuring the Ford F-Series, the Chevy Equinox, the Honda CRV, the Ford Econoline and Explorer, Buick Encore, the Chevy Cruze and Trax, and the Honda Accord. First, let me just say, to anyone who's got a car and is worried about this, there is no silver bullet. When it comes to protecting your car, there are things that you can do to lower your chances of having your converter stolen, like where you park. Clearly, if you're, you're outside, you're exposed. Police recommend parking in a garage. If you can't, park in well-lit areas, near cameras, or if out shopping, closer to the store. Police also suggest using anti-theft devices for your converter, etching your car's VIN number on the converter. The vans at Jones, Petrie, and Rafinski are no longer left out overnight, and there are more cameras around. Ed told me they've done everything they can. He just wishes there was a better way to stop the thefts in the first place. So it's, it still comes down to if there wasn't any resource for that stolen part, that crime goes away.